What's up guys, it's your creative friends, I'm Stud, and I'm Clutch. And Clutch, of course, if you've seen some other videos, is new to the channel, and we've got a special segment that we call The Clutch Factor. At the end of the zoom in, so be sure to stick around for that because we are going to try and teach you how you can take special parts from this set, make some extra money, get some free Lego, all that happiness. But right now we are here to talk about the set 60021. That is the front of your box. Clutch, tell us about the set a little bit. This is the Cargo Heliplane, also known as a vertical takeoff lander VTOL. It has 393 pieces and it's for ages 5 to 12. So, we have it built right here. We're going to get a closer look right now. Let's zoom in. This is it, set 60021, the Cargo Heliplane, 393 pieces, we get the three minifigures, and the dog, we get Fido. Um, so let's get right into it, get those minifigures on the pedestal, and then take a look at lots of the play features. You're gonna love this set. Well, this is the first of two workers. What are we gonna call him, Clutch? We're gonna call him Chainsaw Dave. Chainsaw Dave. Chainsaw Dave's got a hammer in his back pocket there, and he's also rocking the chainsaw micro build. Check this bad boy out. So if you want to build that yourself from the parts that you might have already, have at it. And then this is Chainsaw Dave without his hat on, but he's got the protective goggles. So if you're going to be hacking down some trees, make sure you got the protective goggles on. And this is our other worker, and he is not as active as Chainsaw Dave because he is just sipping on his coffee watching Chainsaw Dave do all of the work. They do have the same torsos, I believe. Yes, the same torsos. Uh, also the same hat, and then I didn't mention before, but we also get the headphones that are a piece that goes right into the hat like that. And here is our heliplane pilot. And you know, you need some special skills if you're gonna be flying a heliplane because it's not a helicopter and it's not an airplane. So it's a heliplane. We'll demonstrate that for you in a second. But there you go, you can see him and he's got the shades like any pilot would have. Well, cause there's lots of sunlight when you're above the clouds. You know that. So before we get to the heliplane itself, did wanna point out that we do get a little small vehicle here that is gonna be pouncing around in the wooded area. So we've got a little four-wheeler quad runner action and you know, he's sipping on his coffee. So that's all right. Uh, and then we've got Dave here and we have a little contraption that we put the logs in. Well, if I can not break it apart. But basically this is, this is your log and we get a bunch of the logs and they get put into this contraption so you can cut them into smaller pieces. So Dave would come over and brrr, and then, you know, you can just pretend you're cutting these into lots of pieces. So if you're into collecting this piece, you get a slew of them in this set and we'll go through more of that in the Clutch Factor segment. After that, we'll tell you exactly how many of these pieces that you get. So stick around for that coming right up. Uh, and you also do get this post of, you know, these four posts that are gonna kind of hold all of these logs into place. So now let's talk about how we're going to transport all of this stuff. Um, oh, we get a little cargo box here too that also fits into the heliplane. So we'll get to the heliplane right now. And here is our heliplane. And we'll just turn that around for you so you can see all the green bricks that we have on there. Some of the stickering that we have here. Also it says air cargo. Uh, and some more shipping logos on the side this side as well we also do have stickers on the propellers so you do get some good propelling action and did want to point out so this is kind of like in airplane mode the way the propellers are well where it can fly the plane forward and backward but if we just wanted the plane to hover these will flip up and now the plane is you know for lack of a better word, it's in helicopter mode. So you kind of get the helicopter and the plane happening or 
Clutch, what would you say the technical term is for a vehicle like this? All right, I'll hop in on this one. This is called a VTOL, V-T-O-L. That's Vertical Takeoff Lander, which means you can land and take off this craft in a small area. You don't need a runway necessarily. Ah, so that means you can just start cranking these propellers and then it will just rise up like that. So kind of like if it was on an aircraft carrier, that would be helpful. Or in like a wooded area like they may be in to get all of these logs out, they wouldn't have a runway, so they would just need to be able to kind of land and pick up what they need and then take right back off. So that's pretty cool. I uh, did want to show you the fuselage. Uh, this is a unique piece. Uh, Clutch will go over that in a minute here. Uh, but also did want to show you that there is printing on this piece right here, so that is not a sticker, where all the controls for our VTOL pilot. Let's get that back on. And we can get our pilot in there so you can see exactly how he fits. And then get the cockpit all back together. Now, we do have some plate features. And I'll show you in the back where we do have a cargo area that will come down. And here is some cargo with some tools and it looks like we have an ax and we can kind of slide that inside and then shut this so he can transport that. And then we also have a hook. All right, so you can see on the side here, we do have a knob that we can twist and then there's a hook that is being lowered from the bottom of the heliplane. And I'm just gonna demonstrate here with these logs where we can connect the hook and then we can then transport this to another place. So we can then cut this wood up into smaller pieces. So we can just fly with it and drop it someplace else. So, but not only can you use that with, I guess the log transporter, but you can do the same thing with a quad. And let's see if we can hook them. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do it. Well, there we go, yeah. So we can also raise the quad, which is cool, and then fly that to wherever we want. Also did wanna show you what this looks like from above, where we also do have the two stickers right here on these pieces. And then you can see how the hinges move and kind of the engines on each of the propellers. And then I'll just do that again because it looks cool. So that is our, our heliplane. Very cool build. All right guys, that was our zoom in. Now stick around for the Clutch Factor. And welcome into the Clutch Factor. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about 60021, the cargo heliplane. Now, if you want to get some bang for your buck with this set and some return on your investment, there are a lot of parts here that will get you your money back quickly. For instance, the three minifigures from the set, the two uh, the logger guys and the pilot, they will get you $14 back. This set costs $40 in stores, and the total part out is around $70. So, the other expensive parts are these 2x4 green tiles here. They're only in a few sets, and they are a dollar each, as well as these round top light gray bricks. They're a dollar each too. And they're in, a, they're in a few more sets, but they're still expensive and very sought after. And finally, the dog you get in this set is worth a dollar fifty. Now that'll get you about twenty bucks back on your forty dollar set, so that's half of it right there. And then there are some rare parts that are in here. Maybe you want to keep most of the set for yourself for building. And these are parts you're only going to find in this set. The cockpit here, with the glass that goes inside it, is only in this set. There's these new green pieces, and like in the monster truck set, they had a red one of this. Now there's a green one in this set. That's brand new as well. The bottom of the front of the heliplane has got a rounded top, and it's dark gray, and that's only in this set as well. And the last one, this white it looks like a two, or no, I'm sorry, a four by four plate, but it's not. It has clips on the end, so it can hinge. This is used in the, the, the cargo door on the back of the airplane. That is only in this set as well. 
And that is how you can maximize your dollar with the clutch power. Well, sometimes you spend a lot of time building a set and then it all gets taken apart anyway. I know a lot of you guys build sets and then take them apart. But we hope you enjoyed this review and hope you enjoy the Clutch Factor. So thumbs up for the Clutch Factor, thumbs up for Clutch. We'll see you next time on Your Creative Friends. Stay creative. Peace. Peace.